Good afternoon. Hi there. Ellen, please be live today and please make it extra coxy. That's the first text. All right. I don't know what that means, but I uh, got the live part down. Good afternoon. Welcome. Greetings and all that. My name's Alan Cox. Uh, thank you for being here. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's here too. Hey, everybody. I'm here. Is it raining or snowing? Uh, it's, it looks, looks like, like a snow, mix. yeah. Sleet mix. The old wintry mix. Win- wintry mix. Mary Santor is here too. Also here. Hello. Pound Cake's back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. Hello. This is a real one. We're tanned. We're ready. Mm-hmm. We're refreshed. And uh, if you'd like to join us, please do. Telephonically, we, uh, we're updating a lot of our phone software this morning, so I made sure that that was all taken care of, and you should have no issues whatsoever getting through. Uh, should you want to, 216-578-1007, 348 1007 You can send me a text if you like, 35192 is the number to text me. If you listen on the iHeartRadio app, you can leave talkback messages uh, there as well. A lot of things to get to today. Uh, we spent last week in Sedona. Uh, Mary and I were both in Arizona last week, mm-hmm. uh, albeit different parts of Arizona. Couldn't even be bothered to meet up with us for, no, our, absolutely for our inaugural not. family vacation. No, 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 no. It's no. unreal. Yeah. Well, that's what I said before unreal. we all left. I said, if you see me, of course, pretend that you don't. And so I don't know if you saw me. I imagine that you no. probably didn't. We were in different areas. We had time. wildly different vacations. We did. We- <laughs> Based on the things you were sending the group text and the things I was sending the group text, I was like, this is not even close. To I sent a photo. <laughs> we, we, took a, we took a vortex tour. My wife is really into that kind of stuff, and so that's fine. And, you know, and so we took this big Jeep tour with about um, maybe five other people. There was a family from Rochester. There was a family from uh, San Diego. Although the wife was originally from Bedford or something, so she made a big show of that when we, she asked where we were from, blah, blah, blah. And so, uh, but at the top of this mountain next to this uh, preserve was this massive, massive house. And I had sent a photo of the house uh, to the group chat. And the guy who was leading the tour said that it was a $45 million house, which I think he got a lot of things wrong. I think a lot of these are like <laughs> maybe urban legend, right? Um, he said it was the the house of an Exxon CEO or something who Pounky could find that in a minute. Summer yeah. is like <laughs> and I, and I, a <laughs> I did a little bit of. I mean, the, as far as I know, the Exxon CEO is Rex Tillerson, who was Secretary of State under uh, uh, Trump for a hot minute. I, I don't think that's his house. And 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 uh, from what I could see, the most expensive house sold in Arizona was about nineteen million dollars. Anyway, it, it, it's very very top. You know, you read all these articles about how um, they're running out of water out there. And boy, there are a lot of dry creek beds. Mm-hmm. That is for sure. Because one of the days we did a, um, a horseback riding trail through the mountains. And you see a lot of dry creek beds. There's also a lot of man-made lakes next to golf courses, which are yes. nice and green, mm-hmm. next to these massive, massive million-dollar condos that they're building as we speak along the golf courses. And so you, you it really it calls into stark relief the differences there of how those resources... It's like there's waters available for people who can afford it. Well, that's true. <laughs> Not Listen, for everyone. Listen, everything will always be available to people who can afford it. Uh, whatever immortality pill they're developing now is going to be uh, available to people who can afford it. But um, but we had never been to Sedona before. I've been to Phoenix on a couple of occasions. Uh, but, you know, Phoenix is one of those cities where it's like, I just don't get a vibe off Phoenix. It's like the Orlando of the West to me. Mm-hmm. It's all parking lots and strip malls and whatever. It's fine. But I, I don't. I just don't ever get a vibe off Phoenix. But boy, Sedona was great. It it's, was just fantastic. We went up to Sedona for two days, and it was beautiful. We did a, a pink Jeep tour through the mountains, kind of like what you're describing. Um, but when you sent that picture... And I was, I text back to the group, and I was like, "Are you on a celebrity house tour of Sedona House?" And you're like, "No, it's next thought, to a like Buddhist thought, temple." I, yeah, we went to a Buddhist temple. I, I like how you thought I was going to go on a celebrity I don't know house what you're tour. Doing. But you then, want to be on a celebrity house tour? He would just be invited to all the celebrity houses, right? And be like, "Hey, come hang out with us, millionaire." Do right. celebrities live in Sedona? I didn't know. I'm I didn't sure. know why we were getting a picture of the sure Exxon Mobil's house. Well, because I thought it was funny because it was right. It was like at the very top of this mountain next to walking distance from what was a dedicated uh, preserve yeah. that that they federally couldn't develop across the street from this guy's house and you know well you're like it's next to this buddhist temple and then 
I was like, we're having wildly different vacations. Sends me a and picture I, of Brian with a snake around his neck. <laughs> at that very moment, what, was that the dude in Uptown Sedona yes, that had the, the uh, had the plastic? Johnny, yeah, the, yes. The, it was a black dude and his wife. It looked like they have been in the sun for a hundred years. And of course, my we daughter. Play with all those lizards, like those random sidewalk no, reptiles. Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> we were. I have videos of Brian, the big lizard that, that was on the ground. He's like, oh, that one's friendly. Brian's picking it up, putting its face next to his. It's licking him. He's got the no. snake. Around oh. his neck, yeah. No, thank you. No, we spent one day up there. There was a day midweek where we just kind of dicked around and did a lot of swimming. And did you go to Fashion Square at all? I don't know if you went to Scottsdale at all. We did not. We were in Sedona the full week. No, okay. I mean we went up to Jerome and we, you know, we went to Cottonwood and all I remember was like that. But no, we didn't go to Scottsdale. I was like, that's like the cleanest city besides Toronto. Toronto was like the biggest cleanest city I've ever been to, but. Uh, Scottsdale's the second one. You could like eat off the ground. That's there. more kind of the beauty of Sedona is it's not like a nightlife town. No, there's not a lot of college. Everything closes at eight. Every most things everything. are closed at seven. Dude. Everything's locked down by nine. Yeah. So like I'm a you know when I travel I'm like a late dinner guy. Well, we are. Like, if you too. travel overseas, you like to have dinner around nine or so and 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 drink and talk and have fun. Everything out there is shut down by nine o'clock. So, but no, those the, the one day that we were in Uptown Sedona, there's all these shops and whatever. Yeah, it's all the, touristy. Yes. Um, our daughter, of course, uh, wanted to go right over those things. We were like, no, 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 oh, we're not going to go over we're and all hang out with random. Oh, yeah, Blake's got a lizard in her hand. She's like, take a picture with me. It's on her neck. Animals, no. <laughs> No, we avoided that. We said, no, we're not going to do that. It just made me laugh so hard because I was like, you're taking your seven-year-old to go visit Buddhist temples. And we're like, yeah, Blake, pick up the snake. <laughs> Grab that lizard. Swing it around. Well, that's the beauty of it. There's some for everybody, right? In the great American Southwest, there's something for everyone. A lot we, of fun. Sedona was was beautiful. We took a pink Jeep Gorgeous. tour up through, like, it was called the... So Pacific Rim or Southern Rim or something like that, where it was like up through a mountain, we got out and took all these really beautiful scenic pictures and stuff. And yeah, it was um, it was absolutely gorgeous. Would have been more gorgeous if you would have stuck to the original plan of our joint family vacation. But what are you gonna do? And again, I didn't know that that was the original <laughs> plan. I, I I must have gotten lost in my messages or I something. I sent it to your email with the signed. Uh, NDA, the affidavit? Affidavit and oh, NDA. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. To... No, we lost a whole day because our flight got delayed. And well, so we didn't get yeah, I we didn't get out there we didn't get out there till Sunday night. We were supposed to be out there all day Sunday. We didn't get out till Sunday night because our flight got delayed. We flew out of Detroit, and then so we get there, we get to the hotel and drop that. You know, like let's get something to eat because it's been a long day. We go to this restaurant that's way nicer than we thought it was. Is but, it was it at the top of a hill like a Mexican place? Yes, uh, the Hudson is what it was called. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we went there. And then the guy, like, a, adjacent to our hotel, there was a guy out there with a giant telescope and a bunch of people. And he was doing a night sky tour. So we're like, beautiful. Because we had already booked one of those for, like, $300. And I'm like, let's cancel that and go see this guy. Because right. he's just standing out there with a telescope. It's going to be the same sky. Same stars. Well, if I can get this for free, why? Would, yeah. So that was good. But, yeah, that town, because I had a couple people out here in the pit, some of our salespeople ask. Hey, I was thinking of taking my kids. It's good for kids. I said, it's fantastic for kids. Mm -hmm. Everything shut down by 9 o'clock. We you know? went to dinner the one night. There was only, it was like 8 o'clock because our Jeep tour was two hours, two and a half hours from 3.30 to 6. So by the time we got back to the hotel, showered and got ready, it was like after 7. And there was one Mexican place open. That was it. Nothing else was open. So we went to this Mexican place. I made a reservation um, earlier in the day, and they had a line out the door. And it's all yeah. sunburnt tourists saying the same thing. Oh, you're the only place that's open. And the servers are like, dude, we're trying. Like, this place is packed. People are running around like crazy. It was really good, though. Yeah, it was fun. It was it a better good time. Be. It's like so close to the border. Right. Went up to the, goal, to the ghost town in Jerome, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was pretty wild. Went to Maynard's Winery. It's a lot of